administration of churches. The campaign follows the jailing of four young men in Kent for causing more than £100,000 of damage to graveyards. Jonathan Beale has this special report. <laughs> This is the type of music believed to be responsible for a wave of attacks on churches in Northern Europe. Called black metal music, it's overtly anti-Christian and synonymous with satanic worship. This church in Bergen, Norway was burnt to the ground. In all 30 Norwegian churches have suffered a similar fate. Now many fear that black metal music has taken a grip over here. Earlier this month, Four young followers in Tunbridge Wells were jailed for causing £100,000 worth of damage to cemeteries and churches in the area. One of them, 18-year-old Paul Timms, is serving 30 months in a young offenders institute. His mother says he was a normal, happy boy, until he became obsessed with black metal music. They become almost absorbed in it. It is a driving force. They have to have it. I hate it so much that I want to have seen what it's done to our family on a personal level and I want to see it banned, I want to see it off the face of the earth. The CD and record covers of black metal music are littered with pagan symbols. Bands call themselves names such as Mayhem, Dark Throne and Cradle of Filth. The lyrics are often difficult to make out but often carry a sinister message. <laughs> One Tunbridge Wells vicar who's lectured on the dangers of the occult has joined the campaign to ban black metal music. When I heard it, almost a cold shiver goes down your spine and you think, well, what is all this about? And what disturbs me is how is it possible that four boys from a decent ordinary society with a Christian background, uh, parents of two of the boys committed Christians, and I say, what on earth went wrong? Now, if it can happen to these sort of chaps, well, goodness knows, uh, what's going to happen to even more vulnerable people? It's not just the music that's causing so much concern, but the image and lifestyles of the bands themselves. One member of the Norwegian group Emperor, seen here performing in the UK last year, has confessed to arson and burglary. Another has been charged with murdering a gay man. But those who promote black metal music in this country deny they're promoting crime. There's nothing in the lyrics to pertain to people that they should go out and commit any acts of, against Christians or, or against anyone else. That's got satanic connotations, but I think it, it attracts people who are into extremes anyway. These, these are the sort of people who'd read horror books or be into true crime stuff. You can't ban it because it'll just go underground and probably get a lot worse. If we have censorship on films and television, my, would, have we ever realized that we might come to a time when we have to have censorship in music? Black metal music can be bought at many record shops carrying no warning. But Veronica Timms believes the music must be banned. Without that, she fears her son will not be the last to be sucked into committing sacrilege. And black metal music will leave its ugly mark in this country, just as it has in Norway. Jonathan Beale on the new black metal music.